and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the day a folk singer met Elvis. Let's dive in. Jackson C. Frank was an American folk musician, and though he never became popular in life, his music has become something of a cult classic. Jackson grew up in New York and did not have an easy life. When he was just 11 years old in 1954, he survived a traumatic event when a furnace exploded at his elementary school. 15 children were killed in the blast, including his sweetheart. Though Jackson was able to escape, he suffered burns on over 50% of his body. There was also damage to his parathyroid gland, and because of this, there was a buildup of calcium in his body that caused him terrible joint pain. This next part's a little strange. I hate to throw a wrench in this story, but Jackson claimed to have received a letter and signed photo from Elvis while he was recuperating in the hospital. He was there for eight months between March and November of 1954. I don't know. Maybe Elvis saw this and wanted to reach out, but he was barely becoming regionally famous in that summer and winter, so I'm not sure. But according to Jackson, Elvis said, I wish I could meet you, you're a brave little boy. Like so many kids his age, Jackson loved Elvis and was inspired by his music. In the spring of 1957, Elvis had originally planned on a meet and greet with the survivors of the school fire after his show in Buffalo. Unfortunately, this didn't happen. Then that summer, Jackson is 14 and he and his mom, Marilyn, took a road trip through the South to visit Civil War sites. That actually sounds pretty awesome. When they got near Memphis, they remembered newspapers had mentioned Elvis had just bought a big house there. So they headed that direction and when they got to the gate, Vernon Presley was right outside. Jackson's mom introduced themselves and explained the letter that Elvis had sent him in the hospital. Vernon then took them up to the house where they met Gladys Presley. After a quick conversation, Jackson was taken to the swimming pool where Elvis was hanging out. I bet they went through the music room down that corridor to the pool. This is the photo that was taken that day. Jackson looks extremely shy, but you can see he appears to be dressed like Elvis with the white belt, but take a look at his shirt. He's wearing long sleeves because he was self-conscious about his scars, but his mom actually handmade this shirt to look like the one that Elvis is wearing on the cover of this 1956 album. You're probably wondering about the jukebox they're standing in front of. In the early days, Elvis had a jukebox in different areas of the patio near the pool. Here's a photo of it with a covering around it. This was in the area where the trophy building is located now. This meeting with Elvis inspired him to pursue music. He released his only album, produced by Paul Simon, in 1965. In the mid-60s, Jackson was really struggling with mental illness. He was diagnosed with depression and schizophrenia that hindered him from moving forward with his career. He spent much of his adult life in and out of psychiatric hospitals. Jackson claims he sold the letter from Elvis and the photo for money for food. At the end of his life, Jackson was homeless and passed away from pneumonia at age 56. Though he never achieved fame in his lifetime, some of his music was covered by well-known artists such as Simon and Garfunkel, John Mayer, Counting Crows, and Nick Drake. You might have even heard his music as it was used in TV shows and movies such as the show This Is Us, and it was even referenced in the newest Joker. In Jim Abbott's book, The Clear Hard Light of Genius, Jackson's mom says they were both fans of Elvis, but for different reasons. She says, Jackson, because his music inspired him to want to play and make his own way in the music world. And Marilyn, because a national icon had taken the time out to both write her son and to treat him with kindness at his own home. In 1957, there was no entourage, no Memphis Mafia to stop a young man from Buffalo from spending a few moments with his hero. And that is it. To get a closer look at the pictures I used in this video, follow me on Facebook or Instagram. The links are in the description box below. I will be sharing them on there. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it wherever there are Elvis fans. As always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more adventures.